babes. Hello, babes. Hello, babes. I don't know, it's, I'm not functioning. Hello, fellow mellows. Welcome to Vanna's Voice. I am your host, Vanna. I am delighted to be here and it's delightful that you are here as well to hear this. Oh, thank you. What are you drinking today? I am drinking water and coffee, 1222 on the clock. It's morning for me. Delicious. I don't know why, but the coffee is just really hitting different today. Um, so let's see what you need to hear today. Um, You are a queen, okay? I feel like there's a lot of just general um, sadness between women right now. Because I feel like we're finally being honest about, open and honest about our experiences as women in this life. And um, that is not easy. Sometimes suppression is a natural response especially as women in the situations we find ourselves in because a lot of us are taught um to avoid conflict and just like make sure that everyone is comfortable and i think collectively we're kind of beginning to say fuck that and um yeah so like it's something that as women we've been working towards for a while but I think that we finally have I feel like we're finally ready for some real change and some real movement and i think that so we have the queen of pentacles and the eight of pentacles in both of these cards um these people are alone and i think that's representational of how we've just been a lot of us have just been doing um the inner work and it's beautiful um yeah change really do be starting from within so keep keep going keep going um despite the sadness and make sure to listen to your body and your needs while you keep going. Um, I'm the biggest advocate for rest. Make sure that you are taking necessary breaks 
so that you can continue to function efficiently. Um, I practice this a lot. Um, because I feel like naturally I will push myself a little too far and usually it's just because I'm excited or I'm like in a good flow and um, I just want to keep going and going and going but I try to um, give that same energy to my rest as well like if I if I have a day where I'm just like go 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 and I'm like in this flow of things and I'm not really giving myself breaks enough because I'm hyper focused on something I will make sure to give my honestly that's not even true i'll just this happened to me recently <laughs> i went crazy um with the pod i just knocked out a bunch of stuff in one day and it was great like i love that for me it was a good energy a good flow that i was in but because it was such a good energy and flow that I was in for like this whole day. Um, the next day I woke up and I was like, just completely drained. And it's important when you wake up feeling completely drained that you don't shame yourself for it, but instead show up for yourself and give yourself what it is that you need, whatever that looks like, um, with love. Is there anything else that you need to know? Today is my nephew's third birthday. They grow so fast. My first nephew, he was born in um, 2020, LOL. That is all of the messaging for today. What the fuck, Jamie? You want to know what Jamie just texted me? Okie dokie lemon pokey. What? Oh my god, and she edited it. <laughs> it's so weird that you can edit messages. I didn't even know that. Before it said okie dokie lemon pinky, and now it says okie dokie lemon pokey. Lemon. I don't know. I love sending um, gifts. GIFs, GIFs, I'm pretty sure it's GIF. This, okay, lemon pokey. This one is two lemons poking each other, so I feel like it's relevant. Put that away. Um, yeah, coffee's delicious. I'm trying to think, what do I even have to say today? I don't know. Hello, fellow mellows. Welcome to Vanna's Voice. I'm your host, Vanna. I'm happy to be here. 
and I am happy that you are here to hear this. Now, let's talk. Oh, thank you. Hello, fellow Mellows. Welcome to the under sea, under the, welcome to the under ocean ice cream palace. Oh, thank you. Hello, fellow mellows. Welcome to the under ocean ice cream palace. So sweet of you to join me as we travel through the deep sea on this journey of finding the best ocean ice cream. Did you know that ocean ice cream comes from the world's largest under ocean milking sharks. They, they don't even have teeth like the other sharks. They have udders where the ice cream is produced. Um, each udder typically contains a different flavor of ice cream and it's source to mouth. There's no processing needed. Under ocean ice cream sharks are the way to eat ice cream in the ocean. So please join me on this journey of seeking ice cream. Sometimes it just comes down to seeking ice cream from ocean sharks under others many different flavors. It's delicious. It's delightful. It's the best frozen treat under the sea. Sometimes, if you get lucky, you might get a flavor that produces new psychic abilities such as knowing where the ocean eels lay there pray to rest and you can actually help your families to bring justice to their family members who are victimized by other eels. by eating under ocean ice cream from shark udders that are in the place of shark teeth and produce delicious, delightful ice cream. So please join me on this journey as we travel through the under ocean to find 
the ice cream producing sharks that will sometimes, if you're lucky, produce psychic abilities that allow you to find victimized eels in their final resting spots and bring peace and justice to the families of these eels. Thank you. Save our oceans day by day, every day, daily. By smoking precious radioactive seaweed. When I smoke my radioactive precious seaweed, I can feel the radio waves in my brain, in my bones, in my general body. And they provide me with the means to duplicate my own body parts. Do you ever just, you know, drink a nice cold glass of sweet, sweet lemonade on a Sunday and think about how your life would be slightly more enjoyable if you were able to grow a second head Whatever that means to you, you know, well, radioactive seaweed can help you enhance your life in that way, as well as many other ways. Radioactive seaweed gives me the shiniest neon green aura. I can even taste it if I choose. If you want the shiniest neon green aura that you can taste if you choose, please. Get yourself some radioactive seaweed to smoke so that you can save our oceans. I've been smoking radioactive seaweed for about seven years now, and if I could tell you one thing, it's that I have no regrets. And I'm sure you're wondering what my bright, delicious neon green aura tastes like? Well, you know, um, like that slime from the dollar store, the green one, it's like that mixed with
the way that gasoline hits your nose, smacks your nose straight in the face when you smell it. Mixed with fertilizer that grows beautiful sea mushrooms. I mean, the taste of my neon green shiny aura is really just indescribable. It's something that you have to experience for yourself. So if you would like to save our oceans and grow a second head and have a shiny neon green aura and smell your nose, please visit Underground Ocean 555-222-333444-999 at dot com. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Now, I just would like to say Merry Christmas and Happy Halloween. It is August 6th while I am recording this today, and it's the first day of the year where I woke up, and it just, it truly felt like Christmas. So... Merry Christmas. It has officially started. I didn't think that this was a thing with Christmas as well as Halloween, but I guess both can live simultaneously in peace together. So Merry Christmas. Happy Halloween. I hope that everybody is finding a reason to breathe, to keep breathing today. My reason is radioactive seaweed and delicious coffee straight from under the ocean. If you didn't know this already, the earth is not flat. However, it is hollow. And for this reason, we can produce under ocean coffee happy valentine's day it's a holiday season up in here sound is a new one. I'm feeling like the lover's energy. Someone has a choice to make. All 
Okay. If this is you and you have a choice to make about about something material, emotional, and passionate. I think it's looking good. Um, I think it's out of your hands. I think the choice will make itself and it's going to bring you stability and happiness and big wish fulfillment. I think I was called to do this for a reason. I would like some clarification on or confirmation for for someone who's listening, if this is about them. Nine of Cups. Red Hat. Stripes, Lines. Maybe you were, maybe you've been like drawing lines, like doodling um, lines. And maybe you feel like you just came out of something that was quite emotional for you. And you felt kind of alone like hermit energy while you were going through this. I think if you have, if you're juggling, if you're juggling something, a decision, I don't think you're going, you're going to have much control over um, what ends up happening, but it looks like if it has to do with a relationship, there's a lot of stability coming through here. So I love that for you. Maybe um, this could have something to do with like marriage, proposal, family. I think that this is going to bring you abundance in the most peaceful way like you won't even have to worry about it there might be some confusion coming up what's the confusion about Maybe you're confused about how other others fit into this equation. Ooh, maybe there's some toxicity, some toxic people that are keeping you chained in this like false a false sense of security and abundance. 
but hmm. tell me more about that devil. Judgment. This could have to do with your past. Um, it could have to do with your past and feeling like you have to be on the defense, like you have to protect yourself, um, and you kind of have to be like one step ahead. You maybe could be coming from like coming into like a new situation or relationship from an old I feel like you're already there and there's just this it has a lot to do with your mind your thoughts there's your past is consuming your thoughts a little bit here But it's like these specific, like it could even be a little bit unconscious here. Like this is what's blocking your blessings. Maybe it would be good to um to try to do. I want. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Try to do something for you that only has to do with you. Um, something where you don't have to think about anyone else. Like just do some kind of self-care for just you with yourself and only for yourself. Yeah, you need to get you need to get yourself into a place where you're not really thinking. You need to create space and silence in your mind. Despite what may be happening around you. I really feel like this is a lot of mental, a lot of, of mental anguish. Yeah. I'm getting that you, you need to spend some time alone. You need to, um, really just treat yourself like the queen that you are um realize that you you are all of your greatest assets and it's very important that you treat yourself as such Maybe spend some time in nature or around um, animals. There are some a few animals coming through. There might be some concern about children. Maybe it's just like something that's in the back of your mind.
I feel like there's a proposal coming through. In some situations, I don't think it's going to work. There's this energy of like, detachment. Maybe you're questioning if um, this really is the right decision. I'm getting maybe there's some sort of like sacrifice. I feel like there's always a sacrifice in love. Um, one big reason for that is just that everyone is different and if we were all the same, well, that would be boring as fuck. And also that would be all it is like there's no growth in that um i do see that there's like a big part of you that doesn't want to there's a big part of you that wants to reject both options <laughs> and be alone. It could work, but I don't I don't think it will bring you as much happiness and fulfillment. I think it's important to realize that the things that that you're searching for in your life they don't come from outside of yourself ever it's always gonna be an inward journey to find those things. And, you know, that's going to exist with or without this, this other person that is coming through. You know, it's um, the Five of Cups. I'm seeing clearly there are two paths that you could choose. One of them is to say yes to this offering, this proposal, and gain stability and emotional fulfillment. Um, and then at the end of your life, there could be there could be regret. There definitely could be regret, but I think it's the the 
kind of regret that just exists within us. I don't think it's because your life was bad. And if you, your second option would be to reject both of these options and be alone. Um, and honestly, that path, it's not looking good. <laughs> I hate to say that because like, I don't know. Because I want to tell you that, that you'll be good on your own, but the truth is, it's not, that's not true. I think... In this situation... you would be better off choosing um, the path that makes sense, but it's with this person, it's with this other person. Otherwise, you'll be alone, you'll be sad, and at the end of your life, you'll you'll just give in to indulgence and it's just not looking good. I hope that helped. Was there, is there anything else that we, that we need some clarification on? We had the Queen of Swords come out and Justice. I do think that there's there's something from your past that is affecting this decision. So I, I think that it would be good to really spend some time alone to just shower yourself in love um, for just you. Like no one else needs to be involved, but then after you take that time, I think partnerships are, or this partnership is the, the way to go. I see you having a beautiful life with this person. Sorry about that. Is there any clarification? Okay, I think the last thing I would like to say is If, so this path with the partnership, it seems to me like it will bring you stability, emotional fulfillment, um, financial security, and ultimately peace with only like a natural element 
of regret at the end of your life. The other path of being alone, it doesn't look as intriguing to me. It looks very distressful. Um, It just seems like it's giving like villain, like sad villain, which, you know, like you always have your free will decision. But lastly, I think what I would like to say is um, maybe this partnership ultimately just isn't for you. I think it could bring you good things, but if it's not for you and you would know, trust yourself, um, I don't think that this path of being alone and turning into a sad villain is your only option. I think um, it's going to take work to go in a different direction, but it is possible to go in a different direction, a more positive place by yourself if you decide that this partnership is not for you. So, you know, um, it comes down to free will, it comes down to thoughts and energy and where you put your energy and um, how you think, how you, how your thoughts um, show up for you in your life, I guess, you know, like you can always change your thoughts to change your life. So I don't think it would be easy, as easy as if you stayed or pursued or said yes to this partnership, but um, if you do decide to proceed by yourself, just remember that you have options um and ultimately it's going to come down to where you put your energy and what you think about so i hope that that helped and i think that is all for the cards. Thank you. Oh, thank you. If you want psychic abilities, come on down to the Under Ocean Ice Cream Palace where we can put you in your own personalized shark tank cage 40 meters down into the hollow earth. And, you know, Anything that you can imagine is a reality down there, literally. Anything that happens in your brain is a direct reflection of what happens in your underground earth shark tank cage 40 meters experience. So keep that in mind. You know, if you imagine that um, the shark has teeth instead of udders, and it's coming at you to come take a bite of your delicious flesh, then that will happen. It's like um, how horses can, can feel your fear. So please keep that in mind while you are in your 40 meter shark tank cage underground ocean ice cream palace 
experience. Oh, thank you.